everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to talk about how I clean my makeup brushes how I deep clean them and spot clean them now this is just the way I do it I'm sure many people do it the same way actually it might not be anything new to some of you or maybe I could show you something new today I can't take full credit for the way I deep clean them I actually found that out on um, the YouTube channel called Mac Shadow Combos and her name is Zabrina with a Z she's awesome I love her channel but um basically I think a few months ago she posted a video about how she deep cleans or how she just cleans her makeup brushes and this is you know the process I use I started using as well so um, that's how I found out about that and the way I spot clean them I just found out I think on the internet somewhere like a blog I'm going to talk about it a little bit today and then I'm going to show you how I do it um, basically this is what how I deep clean I use some hot water and this Dr. Bronner's um, organic soap it has like organic oils and soap and it's in the scent lavender and I got this from Walgreens and I think it's about ten dollars but that's pretty good for this size this lasts a long time let me tell you but um I don't know it could have been a little more than ten dollars I forget but basically it's awesome it smells great and the soap it just really works works great and gets them all the makeup out of the brushes I'm sure and actually you could probably use this for a lot cleaning uh, anything so cleaning so many different things I think it lists different things you can use it for so I'll put I'll put this down in the description bar below and then the way I oh and I, I guess I deep clean about like I don't know every week week and a half and the way I spot clean is just uh, mixing rubbing alcohol and this is 70% because this is just what I had in the house. But I think 90% or anything higher would be better. The more alcohol, the better because it disinfects and absorbs the water and everything. So I really think a little higher alcohol content might be better, but 70% is fine. And I mix that with dish soap. And it could just be any dish soap you have. This is just what I have right now, Dawn. So it's mostly the rubbing alcohol. I put, I fill this water bottle, which is from the dollar store, and I just fill it to like right here where it's at, and all with the rubbing alcohol. And then uh, I just put like about four or five squirts of the dish soap. You don't want too much soap because you don't want it too soapy. So basically you could kind of just eye it up and shake, shake it and you could see you could see the soap in there and I spot clean about every other day every you know every two days depending on how much makeup I'm wearing but I just squirt some of this on a paper towel and then rub the makeup brush on that and the makeup just comes off it's amazing so that's how I spot clean now today I'm gonna just show you my process usually um, I would use the sink to do the deep cleaning but I have fans in my bathroom that are pretty loud and I don't think the lighting would be that great also so what I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna use just this dish dish pan today to show you guys uh, but basically what you want to do is when you're done rinsing the brushes in the soapy water you do want to rinse them under some cold water you wash them in the in the soapy water, but then rinse them as well. And that's usually what I would do in the sink. I would clog the sink. For today, I'm just going to show you how to do it with this dish pan. But okay, well, stay tuned, and I'll show you my process. Thank you. Okay, everyone. Uh, now I'm going to pour the here in the dish pan is just some hot water. Like I said, I didn't want to use the bathroom sink because I have a fan in there that's kind of loud and I don't know, I have good lighting right here. So basically I just filled this dish pan with some hot water like a quarter of the way, not, not even. And here's my Dr. Bronner's soap. And I'm just going to put in, you don't need a lot, I guess about that much. I know it looked like a lot, but I really didn't put that much. 
Okay, and now I'm going to wash my makeup brushes that have any cream products on it. So cream foundation, cream blush. I don't mix, you know, I just try to do the same type of makeup that's on the brushes together, if that makes any sense. But basically, I'm just grabbing a few here, and I'm just, you could already see the water's changing colors, and I'm just shaking them in there, getting that soap all in the bristles. Shaking that. I have two more here. I'm just going to get them started. I don't use, you know, I like to use maybe, since the soap is strong and, you know, you don't have to do one at a time. You could definitely do four or five at a time. Now that, that seems like it's getting it pretty good. And <laughs> you can see the water is totally colored like foundation and maybe some blush. <laughs> there you go. I think that's good. So basically now what I'm going to do is the part I can't show is I want to go rinse these off in some cold water in the sink because you definitely don't want to just put them down to dry because some of the oil and the soap still there. And this is the part I usually would do, of course, at the sink, but that's what I'm going to go do now. Okay, and that's what I went and I did. I just ran these under some cold water and with my fingers went like that under the water and it got any excess uh, product out. And now they seem pretty, pretty clean. So I'm gonna lay them out on this to dry and this towel in the back. Okay, and now I just have a few brushes here that I'm going to show you how I spot clean them. And I basically just spray, here's my solution, shake it up so the soap gets through it. And I'm just going to spray some of that on the paper towel and grab one of my brushes and just rub the brush in circular motions on the paper towel. And you could see how quick the color is just coming right off. These are fairly new brushes. Uh, so if you see any bristles, that must be why. Okay, that one, that quick is, is good to go. So I'm going to just sit it out there. Now, they tick, this takes quicker to dry when you do it this way. But you still want to lay them out to dry because you can't use them right away but basically you could use them quicker after a spot clean than a deep clean obviously the darker the color the little bit more you have to work with it I'm just going to grab a new fresh paper towel here. Now, if the alcohol scent bothers you, you could always water it down or you could get like they have a winter green scent uh, of rubbing alcohol, you could always use that because, you know, you definitely could smell the alcohol as you're spraying it and stuff, so that's just a personal preference, of course. I have one more here, and that one had a dark color on it. I would say that's good.